Hey everyone, today is Monday, May 4th. Uh, as you may know, May 4th is uh, also referred to as Star Wars Day. May the 4th be with you. Uh, and so for today's author talk, I wanted to talk to you about Marsha Lucas. Uh, Marsha is not an author in the traditional sense. Uh, she, she doesn't have any published books or anything like that. But uh, she is responsible for some of the greatest moments in Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Uh, obviously, it was George Lucas that wrote the script, uh, and, and Marsha, his wife at, at the time, uh, made some edits, uh, not only to the script, but actually was a, a credited editor on the film uh, and won an Academy Award for her work editing. So um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about Marsha today. Um, one of the, the very first things that uh, Marsha did as editor of the film was put back some of the uh, maybe some of the more humorous uh, or whimsical light moments in the film. Uh, if you are not familiar with Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope, uh, I'm going to spoil parts of the movie here for you. Um, if you want to stop right now and go and watch it and come back and watch this, it is available on Disney+. Plus. You can take a look at it there. Uh, for those of you that have seen it, though, no worries. Uh, We'll talk about the film now. Uh, so, as I said, Marsha put back some of the whimsical moments. Uh, you may remember uh, when Harrison Ford as Han Solo and Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker are dressed as stormtroopers uh, on the Death Star, and they are taking um, Chewbacca to uh, prison, quote-unquote, uh, trying to worm their way in to save Princess Leia. Uh, a mouse droid scurries up to them, and uh, Chewbacca growls at it, and the mouse droid squeaks and turns and, and uh, runs away. A very uh, 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 a light-hearted moment in an otherwise uh, dramatic portion of the movie. Uh, it was little bits like this that Marsha inserted back in. Uh, it was George Lucas's uh, desire to cut those things and make a straight drama, uh, but Marsha. Marsha thought uh, it would be much more well-received with some of those moments. Another moment that uh, Marsha Lucas is responsible for uh, is the death of Obi-Wan Kenobi. The original script had Obi-Wan escaping through a closing hatch uh, as Darth Vader swung to strike him down. Uh, but uh, Marsha noticed that uh, throughout the rest of the script, uh, Obi-Wan just kind of stood around and didn't have a whole lot to do, and she thought it would be a, a, a little more of a, a gut punch if Obi-Wan died, which also set up uh, probably her most major uh, addition to the story, uh, which would be the final trench run, uh, the Battle of the Death Star, the, Yav the Battle of Yavin 4. Uh, the original script, uh, George Lucas had Luke Skywalker taking two chances. The first chance, he he uh, flew through the trench, tried to use his uh, his equipment, his technology to make the shot, and failed. Uh, then he swung back around, came through, and used the Force. Now, in the original script, Obi-Wan was still alive, so there wasn't anybody to mentally tell him to use the Force, Luke. Uh, instead, um, he just concentrated hard and, and blew up the Death Star. Uh, great, fine, but... Uh, when when Marsha got a hold of the footage, she spent eight weeks going through 40,000 some uh, shots and audio clips and everything and building from the ground up the trench run we have today, which is very, very dramatic and emotional. Uh, in fact, at one point she commented, if the audience does not cheer when Han Solo swoops in in the Millennium Falcon, this movie is lost. Uh, for those of you that have seen the movie and maybe experienced it uh, in the movie theaters, you know that that is a, a great moment when Han swoops in and saves Luke's rear, uh, allowing him to uh, get the force transmission from Obi-Wan and to concentrate and close his eyes and fire into the exhaust port, uh, blowing up the Death Star. So, um, Again, a, a lot of that came from Marsha Lucas. So while she's not an author in the traditional sense, she, she definitely authored some of the greatest moments in, uh, in the movie, uh, Star Wars Episode Four: A New Hope. Uh, I mentioned that the movie is available on Disney+, Plus. if you want to watch it, if you haven't seen it in a while, or maybe you want to watch it for the first time, check it out. Uh, although it is really nice out today, so maybe go outside and then check it out tonight. Um, I'm wearing my Star Wars shirt today, as you can see. 
Uh, so I also uh, want to mention on Friday, I attempted to upload a video about a day in the life of a library and working from home. For some reason, it didn't upload. Um, I'm going to uh, rework it and, and get it up at some point. So at some point this week, there'll probably be two videos uh, on one day. Um, so this week, we are going to do some follow-up videos on our garden and our ecosphere uh, to see how those are coming along. Um, and if you are looking for... Uh, something to do uh, over the next week or so, I will point you towards uh, The Current, which is uh, Minnesota Public Radio's music station. They uh, are starting to count down the 893 songs that bring us together. Uh, about a month ago, they started soliciting lists from uh, listeners about uh, the top 10 songs that, that bring people together, and they're going to play 893 of them in a row starting uh, Monday, May 4th at 1 p.m., uh, so that'll probably be before this video is actually posted, but uh, you can find The Current uh, on the internet at thecurrent.org. You can also find The Current uh, locally in uh, Cloquet at 94.3 FM. So uh, check that out if you like music. Uh, uh, one thing I like about The Current is they play everything from uh, Frank Sinatra to Chance the Rapper, everything in between. Uh, they, they will play uh, the Beach Boys and they will play um, the, the most modern stuff you've ever heard. So um, great, great uh, expanse. I know sometimes on these 893 countdowns, they'll even like go back and hit some Mozart and some uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. And uh, uh, it's just, it's, it's fun to listen to. So uh, that countdown starts at 1 p.m. on Monday, May 4th. So check it out. Um, that's all I've got for you today. We'll be back, uh, like I said this week, with some follow-up videos on our garden. I am hoping to get an exclusive interview from a Cloquet High School teacher to talk about what uh, distance learning looks like on their end. And uh, I think that's it. So um, take care. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Ah, I'm sorry. One thing I should mention that I mentioned in Friday's video that didn't upload properly uh, Last week, I had talked about us potentially doing curbside pickup. Uh, we won't be doing that, unfortunately. Uh, we've been asked to stay home through this next part of the the uh, shelter in place. So um, we, we hope to be back up and running at some point. I don't know when that is yet, but I apologize if you had your hopes up that you could pick up some new library materials today. So that is not happening at this time. Um, all right. Thank you very much. Uh, take care, be healthy, and we will see you tomorrow.